Congress's role here uh, is not to uh, provide their approval for the agreement, but they essentially had 60 days to play the spoiler. Uh, and uh, if, vote, if the votes go the way that we think that they will, and I think everyone expects that they will, uh, Congress's opportunity to play that role uh, will uh, expire next week. The Iranian nuclear pact is in the eyes of those who vehemently oppose it. Not a done deal, not quite yet. The fight goes on from those who believe minds can be changed at the very last second, though it does not look good. And those who look east to their religious homeland, wondering if the leaders of that country are correct. The 25 years from now, there will be no Israel, and the Obama administration may bear much of the blame. Our guest represents the 10th Congressional District in Illinois, where a large Jewish population sits and watches what they and others believe is an inevitable conflagration that will destroy Israel and disastrously impact America. Let's welcome Congressman Bob Dole to the hard line. Congressman, thank you so much for being here. And what I have just said then goes in connection with the news today that the Senate Democrats did block the measure meant to kill the president's nuclear deal with Iran. It is pretty much ensured that this deal will survive. How angry does that make you? Well, it's, I think it's, it's a historic mistake. And I think that what we really need to be doing is not look at this about from a partisan perspective, but look at it from just reading the document. If you read the document and you have America's best interests and security at, at heart, you have to take a look and say a nuclear-armed Iran is the last thing in the world that we want. And this agreement, according to even Bob Menendez, uh, a Democrat from New Jersey, this does not prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon. It actually preserves their ability to get one. And so this, I think, is going to be a historic mistake uh, to move forward. I think the fact that the Senate Democrats decided to uh, not... Uh, invoke cloture is a huge problem in the sense that we're not even going to allow people to have a vote, which, again, I think is absolutely unconscionable. And I would hope that Mitch McConnell would force them to be on the floor actually filibustering this, forcing them to, to basically not have an opportunity to vote to whether they agree or disagree with something that uh, potentially jeopardizes not only the United States and the safety and security of the U.S., but our allies abroad. What about this? Here's the supreme leader of Iran, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, who says that in 25 years, Israel will be gone, off the map, will not exist. There are those who will say, come on, these are just the Iranian mullahs. You can't take everything they say for perfection here because these guys just blow this stuff out here. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, it means nothing. How naive are they being? Well, listen, at some point in time, we have to take them at their word. Okay, when they want to wipe Israel off the map and drive them into the sea, when they're shouting death to America, when the, uh, the supreme leader is tweeting out that Israel will not see 25 years, we have to believe that they want to do these things. This isn't just what they, they're trying to, to put out there. Yes, the, the supreme leader, he's tweeting in English. He tweets in Spanish. Uh, and so, again, I believe they're trying to incite uh, some more extremists that are out there. Uh, and I think that this is very bad, and the fact that they are the greatest state sponsor of terror in the world, and that is not up for debate. The greatest state sponsor of terror in the world, we're going to provide them with $150 billion of sanctions relief, which frankly we know is going to be going into Hezbollah, Hamas, into Assad in Syria to fund terror around the globe. And this, I think, is extraordinarily troubling because that sanctions relief isn't going in uh, 100% into hospitals and schools and bridges and roads and the like. And it is going to ultimately turn around, and I believe, bite us in a big way. Congressman, i got about 30 seconds left. Ted Cruz says he is willing to shut down the government to defund Planned Parenthood. Politico today reports that a lot of Republican colleagues say this is all about Ted. Ted, go away and stop. What's your stand? Listen, I don't think that, uh, that Senator Cruz uh, has the right approach. I think that certainly we want to make sure we keep the government open. This is about trying to uh, come forward with policies that can affect some change that are out there. I don't believe shutting down the government is the appropriate way to go. Senator Cruz and I obviously disagree. Do you think it's all about Ted Cruz? Well, <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know if it's all about Ted Cruz. I haven't had a conversation with him, but all I know is, is that shutting down the government, from my perspective, is not the right way forward. We need to focus on how do we come up with solutions to the problems that we face. Shutting the government down doesn't do it. Congressman Bob Dole, thanks so much for joining us. I hope we get to talk again. And a reminder to everybody, tell us who your choice is for the GOP's 2016 nominee at NewsmaxPolls.com.